Hi guys, good morning. We have had a fun festive weekend, but I just wanted to like hop in like future Aaron into the beginning of this video because I wanted to just thank everyone. Uh, we have a lot of new faces here. My last video got a lot of love and and I'm like beyond grateful. So it got quite a few views. I'm just a tiny little channel, but every subscriber just means the world to me. So I think with that video, we got about like close to 130 new subscribers on here, which for little old me, that's like insane. So I just wanted to thank you all for that. And I wanted to thank you for all the tips, recommendations, kind words, words of encouragement. It has just like, made me so happy. I like, I can't even tell you how happy I am that you're all here. So I just wanted to hop on and say, thank you for being here. Welcome. So all weekend we like on Friday, we had a little festive shopping day. Uh, it didn't go exactly as planned as you'll see, but, um, it was still really nice. And on Saturday we put our Christmas tree up, which you'll see. And then Sunday was just like a very not fun, like clean the basement, clean the furnace room, go to the dump, get rid of all the stuff kind of days, which, you know, happens. Those <laughs> We have those days. So anyway, what am I saying? What am I talking about? Um, so yeah, we had a busy, very festive weekend and I'm about to just kind of like Put it all together and post it in the next day or two. I'm not putting my Christmas village out as much as I love it. I just really don't have the space for it. As you can see, I'm a bit of a maximalist and I just don't have the room to like remove stuff to put up a Christmas village. And then the cats usually sleep on it anyway and kind of knock things over. And someday I will have like a real, like a dedicated space for my Christmas village and it will be perfect. I wanted to share some winter reads that I recently started reading, pulled off my shelves, etc. So the first one, it's an obvious one, but I have never read it. It's The Christmas Carol. And this is actually like a replication of the original first edition of the book. So it has a few illustrations in it. I don't know. Let's see. I'll find an illustration. So it's like old school looking and it looked like this. Anyway, I thought this was a really nice addition. I've never actually read the book. It's one of my favorite stories and I really think that I will enjoy the writing. We, on our date night on Friday night and we watched The Man Who Invented Christmas. This one, I've actually been looking for for a while. I managed to find a thrifted copy on Amazon. But I actually started reading this like back in the spring and got like a fair ways in and decided to save it for winter. So I'm actually restarting it because I remember a bit, but not a whole lot. So I'm going to start reading this again. And so far it's just, it's very cozy, comforting. There's just something about it. It feels like a hug. It's a good one. I think it's going to be a good one. I've heard it. I've had it recommended by a few YouTubers that I watch and I'm pretty excited about it. And the other one that I just happened to find when we were cleaning the basement, I actually forgot I had it. It's um, the Penguin Book of Christmas Stories. So it's a bunch of short stories. I think it will be nice. There's some like, some I've heard of, most of them I haven't. I think it might be nice to maybe read a short story or something in the morning or in the evening before bed. So those are the three books that I am reading to try and get into the festive spirit, although I am feeling rather festive this year. And hopefully today my jam calendar will arrive. I'm gonna put my mugs out and hopefully it will arrive by the time I'm done doing that and I can unbox it with you guys and show you what it looks like this year. Let's go put our Christmas mugs. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. These, I found these at the dollar store. We popped into the dollar store to see if they had anything cute, festive. I didn't, I don't think I really found anything. There were a couple things, but I don't know if I found anything great there this year. 
But I found these. These were at the checkout. They were like a dollar for a bag. They're so expensive on Amazon. Oh my God. These are so good. They're so good. If you haven't, <clears throat> I'm sure this is not new, but I was just so excited to find them for a dollar at the dollar store. And our town is getting a dollar store soon. And I hope they carry these because, mm, oh my goodness, they are so, so good. So crunchy, so tangy, so sweet. Mm. Anyway, hot tip. Have you seen this at your dollar store? Oh, these are better than candy. And we put these on our charcuterie board and they were so, it was such a treat. You couldn't buy. There's probably like a quart of strawberries in here. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go put my mugs out. Hopefully the jam calendar arrives so that I can unbox it and show you guys. And now you can watch the rest of the vlog, so enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So today is Friday, November 22nd. It's a PA day and it's officially Christmas kickoff in our house. So originally I was gonna take all three kids and we were gonna drive about an hour to another town that has more stuff, selection, stores, etc. And um, my son, who was like super excited about it, he's just getting over a cold and he doesn't know if he should go. And my eldest, Poppy, hates shopping, hates all things shopping. She's so much like her dad. And then my littlest one, Clementine, still wants to come. So we've been looking forward to this all week. And now there might be a change of plans. So I might just go with Clementine or Mike might see if he can get the day off because he has a few vacation days left and he might come with me. So we'll see how the vlogging goes because I'm not super comfortable <laughs> vlogging in front of him. Um, I'm just getting better like with doing it around the kids, never mind in public, but with Mike, I'm still really awkward and nervous. I don't know why, I cannot figure out why, but also he is not a huge shopper, but if he's in the right mood, he can do it. So I don't want him like, don't bum me out. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I think we'll have a good day still. I think he knows that I've been looking forward to this and he knows that I'm like disappointed that the kids can't, won't come. So we will see. Let's, I, we still have all the things that we want to do. I want to go thrifting. I want to go to the Canadian Tire. My hair looks wild right now. I want to go to Canadian Tire and check out their new ornaments. I might even go to Walmart because apparently they have good Christmas stuff this year. I don't need a lot. I just need a few very specific things. I think we'll have a good festive day and then we'll come home and watch a Christmas movie. And um, yeah, we'll see what we get up to. All right, so we are off. Mike is getting a monster, which is, that could be a bad thing. He needs energy for our Christmas joy. So we are off to Bracebridge. I changed my outfit yet again. What are you excited about? Seeing the Christmas ornaments. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what they have too. I think we'll go to Walmart and Canadian Tire and see what they have for Christmas decorations. <laughs> okay. What you got there? Hey. hey apple juice. <laughs> and I you want me to see those. <laughs> You're climbing. Thank you. What is this? Just That's decongestant? That is what he recommended. To stop you from snoring. I mean... Is that what he said? I guess my alleged snoring. I've never heard it.
look at him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How's your hot chocolate? Good. It's really good with the pepper in it. Very. <laughs> Let's see if I can find my Santa mugs. I'm a little concerned because I can't find them that they might be. I'm if we donated them, I will cry, but I don't think we donated them. I don't think that happened. <laughs> Also, if your garage doesn't look like this, I don't think we can be friends. Yes, this is the state of my garage. It's actually pretty clean, considering what it was. I feel like it might be that box. Oh my god, the mice got into my mice! He chewed his little hands off! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. See how bad it is. Okay, maybe it's not as bad. Okay, okay. Okay, it might just be two. This one, her hand's a little unraveled. Other than that, we might be okay. Okay, we, we might be okay. We might be okay. I'm really sad about this little one though. Maybe I'm hoping I can fix her. This was last year's little treasure I got. Oh, we have to keep these inside. I didn't realize these were all out here. This is devastating. They chewed all the little mushrooms out of it. <laughs> this is so sad. This guy lost his, his hand. I'm not filled with Christmas joy right now. <laughs> they chewed her little butt. <clears throat> okay, we've had a bit of a tragedy with the mice getting into our mice ornaments. I think they're all salvageable. The only one that's not this had two little mushrooms in it and I don't think I can fix that, but maybe I can fill it with something else because the nest part is fine. 
and I can't find my Santa mug collection. I'm not sure where it is. I'm not gonna panic yet, but I am getting I am getting a little nervous that we can't find it because it's like my prized possession. I don't know where I put it. Part of it could be my ADHD brain, just like I organized it real good. calendar has arrived. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We get to do a fun... Pull that. Okay. That was not as satisfying 
as I had hoped. excited i'm so excited <laughs> it's here i'm so excited thumbnail alert oh yeah we should do a thumbnail yeah <laughs> okay okay slide the top off <laughs> sound like a horse oh So excited. <laughs> okay, so it is here. It has arrived. I was a little worried that it was gonna like disappear. I got it on Amazon and the delivery service hasn't been super reliable. I've had a lot of missing packages. So this one came through Pure Later. I am so happy. We are so excited to do Vlogmas. Look at this bad boy. Okay. Um, like I said, I couldn't find any. They were a little expensive. They're always a little expensive in Canada, but we had a lot of fun with it last year and I really, 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 really wanted to try again to do it this year. So Mike convinced me to just go ahead and get it. I think I'm gonna end the video here. And so if you made it this far, congratulations. Oh, if you made it this far, I always want to play this game. Leave an emoji, but it, do we, is there a jam emoji? There isn't. There's is a it? honey emoji, but that kind of looks like Oh, that. you know what we should do? We should do a train emoji. Yeah. If you made it this far in the video, leave us a train emoji. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.